episode of Joe Mogul and new Joe Mogul videos are available every Wednesday morning. So brighten up your life and tickle your smarts. Hit the subscribe button below and I will be sure to keep you on your toes. I want to tell you a story about the property tax department in the city of Toronto. And why I think you should hear that story? Because I think if you will listen to this video, if you will watch this video till the end, you will have a better understanding about some of the challenges each of us has in the last six months. So here we go. A lender that I'm working with asked me to present my property taxes for 2020. And so I went to the website, I went to the uh, City of Toronto Property Tax Department website. I was able to log into my account. I was able to find my property. All the information is there. I see how much I paid last month and the months before and my name is right and everything. Somehow I couldn't find the statement for 2020, how much in total I'm paying for property taxes. I couldn't find it out. So I contact the department. I must say that in a record time, a very pleasant, cheerful representative called me back and said something along the lines of, how can I make your day better, sir? So I told her, you can make my day better by telling me how I can get my 2020 statement. Maybe it's hidden somewhere. Maybe I couldn't find it. She said, sorry, we don't have it. I said, hmm, okay, you don't have it. Can you create that document? Can you tell me, you know, the numbers? Oh, sure, we know the number. We can create the document. Great. Can you send it to me, please? She said, let me check. She's checking. She's getting back to me with that cheerful voice saying, sir, I have great news for you. Yes, we can send you a copy, a hard copy of your property tax uh, for 2020, it will get to you via mail in a few days and it's free of charge. I said, that's wonderful news, but you know what? Since we already know how badly, how bad it is, the environmental footprint of every uh, document that's sent via mail, please, I'm asking, send it to me via email. You have my email, right? She said, yes, we have your email. Of course, it's on your file. I said, please send it via email. She said, unfortunately, this is impossible. We cannot do that. I said, your computer is able to generate that document. You're gonna be able to have that document. You're gonna print it. You're gonna put it in an envelope. You're gonna send it to me. Why can't you just send me an email? And then she gave me that incredible unbelievable aha moment answer she said we are working on it we are working it we are still trying to figure out how to send it via email so this is 2020 and this is the property tax department in the city of toronto one of the wealthiest most successful cities if not the best city in North America, and they are still trying to figure out how to send an email. And this, ladies and gentlemen, make me think, like, make me get to that point. Well, we all know that those big systems, public or private, the banks are the same, are so dysfunctional, are so dysfunctional when it comes to keep up, to change, to do things, to keep up with the fast pace of our life. They're just not capable. They're not designed. They're not able to do it. Even simple things, they can't do it. We know that. And this is, was just another reminder. And then as soon as I put the telephone down, I was thinking, what are the chances? What are the chances really? that our public health system, that our government, that all the entities that are dealing with this coronavirus crisis are actually able to function in a reasonable way. And the chances are zero, zero. There is no freaking chance that they can do it in an effective 
way because this is a dynamic complex crisis think about it they need to have a team right that gather information from the field they need to have a team that based on that information make fast and effective decisions they must have a team that after they make those decisions need to make sure that those decisions may can be implemented in an effective way and after they implement execute those decisions that they make on a daily basis they need to get information back how those decisions how those decisions affect the current situation the current condition this is a complex dynamic war zone war room type of effort that needs to be take place how are those all big establishment like uh, department can even st there is no freaking way that they're able to do it and we see it and so that realization that understanding make me think that we all know that the next virus will come in a year two three four so what should we do and the answer is very simple we need to put together that team right now that team of experts that will have the protocol that we have as soon as the next one happens they will know how to deal with it in an effective way a group of experts whatever it is economics public health epidemiologists put together the best team in your country the best team in the city in every level right we need that in every level to be ready because this is the only way the only way to be able to deal with the next crisis in an effective way so this is how the property tax department in the city of Toronto create the aha moment of what needs to be done so the next crisis that will come can be dealt in a much much better way I hope that was useful I hope that was productive I hope it make you think about it a little bit I hope it bring some hope for you in those challenging challenging times adios if you enjoy the video you just saw hit the subscribe button below even if you think the video you just saw is a complete garbage it hit the subscribe button below because who knows maybe next week it's gonna be much 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 better I would love to hear your feedback and I would love to know if you have any ideas for future topics you want me to discuss let me know and don't forget to check the Joe Mogul website because Joe Mogul website has videos that may put a smile on your face maybe provoke a new idea in your head and maybe even maybe inspire you to work towards your financial freedom because remember every big dream start with a small step and that small step can start with a little tip on the Joe Mogul video on Wednesday morning. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Ooh.